Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x minus 4 to power 4. This is equal to x to power 4. So what is the value of x? Let's prevent the solution here. If it is your first time, you come across videos from this channel, kindly like and subscribe. Now we have x minus 4 raised to power 4. This is equal to x to power 4. The first step here is to take x to power 4 on the left hand side so that now here we have x minus 4 raised to power 4 subtract x to power 4 this is equal to 0. So we can express x minus 4 to power 4 as x minus 4 to power 2 then raised to power 2 subtract x to power 4 which is the same thing as x to power 2 raised to power 2 this is equal to 0 x minus 4 to power 2 raised to power 2 minus x to power 2 raised to power 2 this is equal to 0 this equation is in the form of a squared minus b squared which we can express as a plus b a minus b from this equation here, a is equal to x minus 4 raised to power 2, and we have that b is equal to x to power 2. So this implies that a plus b, this is equal to x minus 4 raised to power 2, then plus x to power 2, this is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 1. And we have that a minus b, this is the same thing as x minus 4 raised to power 2, subtract x to power 2, this is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 2. Let's start with equation 1, I can call this one case 1. Now, we have x minus 4 squared, now plus x squared, this is equal to 0. We have that x minus 4 squared, this is in the form of a minus b squared, which you can express as a squared plus b squared minus 2 times a b. Applying this algebraic identity, then from here we have x squared plus 16, then subtract 8x, then plus x squared, this is equal to zero so x squared plus x squared this is 2x squared then subtract 8x then plus 16 this is equal to zero now we can divide the both sides here we can divide this equation by 2 so that now here we have 2x squared divided by 2 this is x squared minus 8x divided by 2 this is 4x then plus 16 divided by 2, this is 8, and this is equal to 0. Now we have x squared minus 4x plus 8, this is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, this is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation here, a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 4, and c is equal to 8. Now let's apply the quadratic formula from here to solve for x1, x2. This quadratic formula is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2 times a. So this implies that here we have minus minus 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared this is minus 4 squared subtract 4 times a which is 1 times c which is 8 everything here divided by 2 times 1 so this implies here we have minus times minus 4 this is 4 plus or minus the square root of minus 4 squared this is 16 minus 8 times 4 this is 32 divided by 2. So this implies that here we have 4 plus or minus the square root of 
16 minus 32. This is minus 16 divided by 2. So here we have 4 plus or minus the square root of minus 16, which you can express as 16 times minus 1 over 2. So therefore here we have 4 plus or minus the square root of 16, this is 4. Square root of minus 1, this is i, then over 2. Now, from his, from this, this this 4 plus or minus 4i, we can factor out 2 so that we have 2 into the parentheses. This is 2 plus or minus 2i divided by 2. So let's simplify here so that here we have 2 plus or minus 2i. So therefore, we have that x1 is equal to 2 plus 2i. We have x2 is equal to 2 minus 2i. Now, this is two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions from here. These are two complex solutions in case 1 for x1 and x2. So let's proceed to case 2 from here. Now in case 2 here, we have x minus 4 squared minus x squared, this is equal to 0. This is in the form of a minus b raised to the power 2. This is the same thing as a squared plus b squared minus 2 times a b. Let's apply this algebraic identity. So this is the same thing as x squared plus 16, then minus, this is 2 times 4x, that is 8x then subtract x squared, this is equal to 0. So x squared minus x squared, so here we have 16 minus 8x, this is equal to 0. Now this implies here we have 8x, this is equal to 16. So let's divide both sides by 8. So that now we have that x here is equal to, to 2. So we have three solutions to this algebra problem. We have got three, three solutions. We have three solutions. That is x1 in this case is equal to 2 plus 2i. We have x2 is equal to 2 minus 2i. These are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions. And we have that x3 here is equal to, to 2. This is the only real solution that we have. This is the only real solution. So let's verify that x3 here satisfies the equation. Let's verify from here. Now, if you recall, if you recall from here, we have that. Now, if you recall here, we have that x minus 4 raised to the power 4. This is equal to x to the power 4. We have the value of x here, which is 2. So we have 2 minus 4 raised to power 4. This is equal to x, which is actually 2 to power 4. So we have that 2 minus 2 in this 2 minus 4. This is minus 2 raised to power 4. This is equal to 2 to power 4. This sh should give us a value of 2 to power 4. Minus 2 to power 4. This is the same thing as minus 2 times minus 2 times minus 2 times minus 2. Everything here raised to power 4. So this implies here yeah, minus times minus this is positive. Minus times minus this is positive. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 which is 8 times 2. This is equal to 16. This is equal to 2 to power 4 which is equal to 16. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that x3, which is equal to 2, 
satisfies the equation. So we have three solutions from here, two complex solutions and only one real solution. So kindly follow the steps, like this video and subscribe. Kindly like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.